What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to continue on our series with advanced side mount penetration techniques. And I'm going to be walking you through a penetration of a school bus. And we're actually going to be looking at this from two different angles. Now this is part of the same series of these penetrations, but you're going to see three different penetrations of the school bus itself. So the next two videos after this will also be penetrating the same school bus, but you're gonna be seeing it in different areas. Now, I do wanna give a quick disclaimer here. This is an overhead environment penetration. However, this is a very minor penetration. This would be really more of a swim through than uh, an overhead environment as far as a cave or a cavern or something like that. But this is a great place to go and practice advanced rec techniques, tiles, things like that. And there's so many entry and exit points that a novice diver or an experienced diver would get great benefit here as well. Now, the, the penetration that we're going to look at here, you're actually going to see it from two different angles. You're going to see the edited version, which I'll walk you through, and then you're going to see it from my personal point of view, because I was actually recording as I was going through it as well from my point of view, so you're going to see that as well. Now, in the edited part of this version, I want you to pay close attention to my trim and pay close attention to how high in the school bus I am and how low I am as well and how I'm staying straight in a straight line. Now, before I start the video here, I want to talk about one thing really quick. A lot of you guys have been asking me, how do I know that it's safe for me or how do I know that this is something that I should be doing? Well, get proper training first and foremost. And if you're having to question whether you think that you're uh, at the right skill level to make these penetrations, then in all honesty, you're probably not quite there yet. So please make sure that you're getting proper training for these uh, techniques that you're seeing. And please also make sure you got proper supervision there. Please don't go out there and try to do these in a solo dive situation. Make sure you got a dive buddy there with you. But let's go ahead and get started started here I'm actually going through the back side of the school bus and you'll notice I have winged one of my tanks forward you don't actually have to do that on this specific penetration I could have very easily fit through that back door there but the reason I did which you will see is from when I show the video from my perspective I wanted to get the um, perspective of what it looked like looking down the barrel of the tank if you will but notice I'm staying there in the center. I'm not brushing up against the sides. I'm staying at the, right, the same level the entire length. I'm not bouncing off the bottom. I'm not hitting the top. I'm using kind of a, a modified uh, frog kick here as well. And then of course, I'm gonna negotiate my exit point, which I decide, since I'm in side mount, just to simply go right through the windshield itself. And it's just a fun, safe little swim through, if you will. A lot of great things that we can work on here from venting techniques to proper buoyancy control to proper trim. And then you'll notice there, I've got my Sea Life Sport Diver housing and I'm also uh, kind of getting the shot over my tank. I'm actually gonna show you what that looks like from my point of view real quick. Let's go ahead and get the video brought up here and get it playing here. So here, what I'm doing, I'm actually winging my right cylinder out. And you'll see this course is an unedited version. We've not doctored up the color or anything like that. You'll see my bottle. This is exactly what it looks like from my point of view. As I bring the bottle forward, you'll notice that I'm trying to stay in that dead center line, the aisle, if you will, the school bus. I'm making sure that I'm not bouncing off the top or bouncing off the floor or anything like that. And I actually love these unedited versions here because it just goes to show how much stuff, even here on YouTube, how much stuff actually gets edited out. When you see a really cool clip, 99% of the time it's had color correction and other things added. Um, but this is exactly what it looks like from my eyes as well. So of course I'm getting there to the end. I did proper finning techniques. I stayed neutrally buoyant, properly trimmed. And then of course I swim out. Now if you want to see how we do film this, as I turn you're going to see two other cameras kind of come in the, in the frame there. And you'll see how we're using multiple cameras to get different angles here. But I'm going to go ahead and get turned around. And of course you'll see my camera lady, which is Miss Katie. And of course she's got her little action cam there and she was recording me as I came through it. But yeah, nice little fun penetration. Uh, I will be showing you different penetrations from this sp specific sailbo or sailboat, school bus. The next two videos will also be different penetrations from this school bus as well. But yeah, I really enjoy this. My daughter actually enjoys this sailboat or this school bus as well. We do a lot of fun stuff with her. She'll swim in, get in the driver's seat, and then I'll swim in, act like a passenger sometimes. And it's a lot of fun for recreational divers, tech divers, overhead environment divers, open water divers. It's just a nice little fun 
swim through area that you can go and explore. It's a great place for advanced wreck diving as well. You can practice your tie-offs, you can practice negotiating proper entries and exits and things like that. And it's a great place to practice finning techniques, buoyancy, and trim work as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you're interested in side mount, wreck diving, or advanced wreck diving, let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see certain videos in those areas. And I'll try to make those videos for you as well. But stay tuned, guys. We still got plenty of videos that we're going to kind of do a review and a walkthrough for you in this series of our compilation of advanced side mount penetrations. So definitely stay tuned for that as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.